Well, I got an irritating pig. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I'm wondering if maybe it's time to change the lock. I don't know. It doesn't increase with RPMs. Uh, yeah, I hate that for change time to change get it down kind of close to close to time to hit the power drill this thing don't have a yeah I hate to have change time to change this thing don't have a crankshaft bolt so it's kind of a pain in the butt to knock that balancer back on you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, I don't want to change the time machine, but I have one. I already have a time machine. I'm going to pull the, everything back off, the radiator back out, hoses, water pump. Well, maybe we'll see. One reason I really don't want to change the time machine because I'm going to have to work on this motor. Anyhow, eventually the motor needs to come out. I'm trying to talk myself out of changing the time machine just for the power tool. You know what I mean? Uh, if I change the time machine, I'd like to put a camshaft in here with a little bit of lope to it. We all think. It's hot. I really don't want to start tearing this apart, putting time to in here, you know what I mean? You know, I'm tired. <laughs> it's just a lot. It's late Saturday afternoon, tomorrow's Sunday. I'm not going to do it tomorrow. Got to work 10 hours Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Really, 13 hours because it's an hour and 10, 15 minute commute. So I have next Friday and Saturday, and then there you take everything apart, you risk having a little something happen. Time to change cover, don't go back home, then you have a continuous oil leak. It don't leak nothing right now. Well, maybe a little bit of transmission board, and that's out the gear selector. Yeah, I'm Well, I'm going to change the time again. As much as I hate to see how many things I've done this morning, it's uh, 7.59. So i got uh, got a couple hours. So we need all the tool part. Yeah, I mean, don't go in the bucket. Don't go in the bucket. Just don't go in the bucket. No use to go in the bucket. All right. Yeah. Well, at least I'll eliminate that noise being in the time chain. Because it, uh, when you first crank it up, you'll hear it loud for a while and then gradually it quietens down so it kind of makes me think that chain is slapping the cover but uh now be it who knows you know the kind of the only thing i'm really worried about this is just i'm gonna try to take that timing cover off leaving the oil pan tight I've seen people do it, but anytime you're doing that, you're always risking having a little leak or something. And then, like I say, right now, 
only leak I have is a little bit of a transmission drip from the the gear selector there. Needs a seal on it. Go ahead and order a new clutch. I mean it feels okay but every now and then it feels like a loose spot. Well, uh, just like I thought, I can't find my puller. So, Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight opens up here in a little bit. I'll either go down there or I'll order one and have it here tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I'm anxious to see what that looks like. Uh, I hope the noise is a time change slapping over, but uh, it may not be. If it's not, at least clear my mind, I will have changed the time change. Hey, the convenient thing about having a Harbor Freight right down the road is, well, just having a Harbor Freight right down the road. I got me a, a porter set. I'm going to get one of these uh, to take with me on the tour. Picked up some odd ends. I got some heat shrink, some uh, wire connectors, black tape. Yeah, some things that I feel like I'm going to be doing this all week, getting... Well, polar worked like a top. I was a little bit worried that the thing hadn't been off since 1968, but come right off there. Now let's uh, let's see what that timing chain looks like. These old wire cleaners make the best tool trays, part trays. Yeah, get it here. Fan nuts and washers over here. Timing chain cover bolts here. Water pump bolts there. We're great. All right. Kind of anxious. What y'all think? I hope that we see some marks on the inside of the timing cover. That's what I'm hoping. But hey, if not, at least kind of cleared our mind. And uh, hopefully. And get this changed. Make sure they got all the bolts out. All right. I loosened a few of the front pan bolts. Drove me a couple of little chisels in there to prise that pan down a little bit. That seemed like the common thing to do. So now let's see if we can get it off there. I drove them back in there and prize that corner down there just a little bit and it popped out. Yeah. And could that be my noise? That's what I'm hoping I would see is something. Look at that. I hope that was my noise right there. Let's get it right here. Oh my goodness. You see how much play that is? That makes me feel so good. I bet that was my noise. See right there? Yep. I bet that was it, guys. So I'm glad I did this. Well, I ain't done, but I'm glad I'm doing this. 
because I thought maybe that's what it was, is that time you chain slap. Like I say, it would, it would, when you first crank it up, it was like I had a peck, you kept pecking. But then as it warmed up, it wouldn't be as bad, and then you could rev the throttle, and it was smooth. So, that was taking some slack out of that chain, but at lower RPMs, you was getting that pop right there. Yeah, man, I am so glad that I did this. I'm going to uh, work on cleaning all this up. I'm going to be finished today. And then I, I lost my top dead center. I'm going to put this back on top dead center. And uh, my brother come out here and was looking at this and was... Evidently, that's the old nylon gears on this. You can see there. So the one I've out here is a, I got a Chloe's. So, yeah, we'll get that on there and uh, I'll feel a lot better. Look at that. I can about take that off the teeth right there. Look at that. Yep, that is one or two stops for gas for that jumping time right there. Would I look silly? Would I look silly walking around power tour like this? I found these two little 12 volt batteries. A 12 volt. I found these two little 12 volt fans in an old car that I had bought. I don't know why. Is that fake? Finding two? So, I've seen people have these solar. Who put my glasses on? I have these solar caps. So this is an experiment. So I can do this without blowing myself up. Nothing time. I actually think you gotta have the right polarity. That's the white on the red. Nothing's happening. Oh, sorry. Let's put the red on. Positive. Let's put the white. Now nothing's happening. Now let's switch them. Then have my battery to. Oh man, holy Moses. Can you hear that? Baby's buzzing. Oh my goodness. That's a ticket right there. Holy cow. But, we'll Solar panels blow that hard. Probably not. It's a 12 volt fan. It's 12 volt battery. Oh man. How you doing? Hey, Derek. How you doing? Vice Trip. Yeah. Hey, Isaac. Cars cameras. How you doing, man? Yes, yeah, is my little homemade fan here. Oh man. We'll see what happens. You see me with this hat on. You can say I saw it here first. 